Hello, my beautiful Gemini's. Welcome to your bi weekly reading. This is a two week readings from the time you see this video till the 15th of July. Let's see, loves, so what the energies are, how the things are going for you, and what else we need to know and see at this time period. Always, always know. General readings might resonate with you, might do not as much. And let's begin. Don't forget also that the first week we do have a new moon in Cancerian. And Cancerians brings quite a load of emotions. So take care of your well-being first thing first. And also take good care of your heart. Underneath we have the Six of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Lovers, Hangman, Seven of Cups, and Two of Wands. All right, loves. It seems here there is a Gemini who it's kind of like holds on on making a decision or you feel like I need more time to make uh, the right decision but I feel here these two weeks are very important and it's kind of doesn't take you two weeks takes you one day to make a decision here and I feel here there is some kind of I I gotta make peace with my past and allow the new coming in for some of you, you might have some kind of proposal, but you're not quite sure, is this the right thing or should I do this or should I not? For some of you, you are in between two people. So let's see. First card, we have Strength. Eight of Swords. It's kind of you feel like you, you are not going to... Um, Keep your promise or something or if I will choose this I'm not gonna keep my promise or something like that ace of wands queen of wands there's a lot of fiery energy for some of you you could have Leo in the chart because I have double Leo here you might deal here with a Leo or another fire sign or with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio but let's see here it's like for some of you, you you still kind of not moved on from someone or not released someone. What's this Eight of Swords here? Four of Wands. It's kind of I could not release this person still from my heart. It's like somebody here... Is not allowing new love to come in. It's like somebody here, like four of wands speaks about your soul. You ne you're not allowing anyone into your soul or into your heart or in in your life. It's like you you resist this new love to allowing it. Why it's so? Ten of wands because you feel it's too hard. Or there's a lot more or things on it's like to to have something here growing or moving to the right in the right place it's a lot of work but why not six of Pentacles temperance there's something here that you truly believe that will work again for some of you 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 have a hard time to forget someone ten of swords the moon king of wands so for some of you you definitely wanted to be here with someone or you thought is the the one for you but it's kind of accepting reality it's a way to go because you do have something new because I see you single for quite a long time. 
okay why you are uh, keep postponing with this hanger man a choice here taking it slow I'm taking my things slow or taking the things slow with someone but I don't see you open up your heart it's like you Gemini could date someone could be with someone but you you're not it's kind of yes you take things slow but you that's how you're telling yourself but more likely you are not allowing this person in your heart or they are not even close to your heart why the emperor it's kind of you are kind of um, six of swords you feel still like I need more time to move on or things like that seven of cups three of cups eight of cups for some of you you feel like this person is like a, a very good friend and you kind of know how long they will hang in there or how long they will stay why is taking me so long to move on here when i clearly wait for the other person oh boy it's kind of you clearly still want the other person who is this queen of wands Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Judgment, Page of Swords, World, Page of Pentacles, The Devil. It's kind of this person is focused more likely on finances, on, on their work. Kind of their priorities are much different and for some of you you could have a karmic cycle with that person that's that's the the hard part to let go but somebody here it's already moving on clearly okay you might not talk with them Let's see here how you can allow this person or how you can open up your heart to this new person who brings you this offer. Justice. Justice really speaks about um, for some of you many many of you actually know that when we come in here in this earthly life we we have contracts and justice here speaks about a soul contract needs to be released some of you might not know how to and i will uh, say this way take a piece of paper no matter whatever paper and write down me and you write your full name and the other person full name I release you from this contract the contract is signed by me and virtually by you we are releasing this we are breaking this contract as right now right here and we both moving forward in this lifetime the way we need to go forward i go on my way you go on your way and so it's be put a dot sign over there and either you burn the paper either you go and release that little piece of paper on a river gotta be um, a forward going water so that's how you are going to release that person so you definitely need to write this contract king of pentacles
kind of take responsibility to do so. So you are going to release this past energy. Don't overthink about it. So that's how you can accept a new opportunity or new contract. Because we all, we have the people who are going to have contracts in this life. Ooh. What advice we have for you, loves, at this time, at this moment, because the situation. Don't overthink. Just because something here didn't go the way you, you want it doesn't mean you can hold on forever. There's a person here which is your person who loves you. You might not feel like you love this person, but this person can, it's kind of, they, they, they are the one. And for some of you, if you don't really love this person or don't really want to be with them, or you tend to tell them we will be better or we will make it work, don't lie to yourself. Either allow this person in your life, either you are going to release this person. Okay? Because there's something here will make you way more unhappy. But Spirit says, releasing the past will make you to move forward. It's hard, but it's not impossible. I feel here is kind of, for some of you, you feel like somebody here left you. I feel here is the same way on the other person. And definitely here, this is a contract that could be broken. So you can move forward. Okay? Because this can be done. This can be changed. The, the events, the things you're going through can be changed. And moving forward definitely speaks about growth and expansion. For some of you, whoever here you're moving towards, they are your life partner. This is your life partner. Okay. For many of you, you leave a karmic behind. But you definitely move towards a life partner. Okay. Wow. Geminis, that's what I have for you for this time period. I hope this resonates. If it does, let us know. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.